this is my poem up here, uh -huh. and I'm going to read them off my piece. Okay. All right. So before I read poetry, uh, I'm going to talk a little bit about poetry. One of the things that's important with poetry is that it's meant to be read aloud. It's meant to be heard more than just read off a sheet of paper. So <laughs> some of the words you may not totally understand, but listen to the sounds they make, because that was an important part of uh, making this. All right. You guys ready? Yes. Am I ready? Yeah. <laughs> You're ready. All right, ready? There we go. So this is this is about one. Of, I love English, and I also love making beer. Here we go. Columbus hops, my favorite. I crush the flowers. The resin stickies my fingers, smelling pungent and intense. This is what I want. I milled the grain an hour ago. My muscles remember the motion of the crank. The pulverized barley steeps in my makeshift mash tun. Sideline cooler, PVC parts. I open the valve. Caramel color liquid flows into my kettle. I dip a glass in and hold the captured liquid up to the light, to my nose and lips. Sweetness warms my senses and slides inside. This will be a good one. The heat grows, the water rumbles, and after that initial violent eruption, I add flowers, several handfuls. Movement slows, an aroma wafts into my smile. Two more hop additions, a cool down, and a transfer. I place my vial next to the lips of the curved glass carboy. I dump my yeast into it and lean back against the wall. I spend a month checking on it, in the cellar, monitoring temperature, gravity, color, yeast health. There comes a, no a moment when you know it's time. I cradle, it against my, uh, I cradle it against my hips, my hands cupping the weight from below and waddle up the stairs. A thick layer of yeast now resides at the bottom. The liquid sloshes and stirs that sediment. I pat the side of the carboy instinctively. I mount the stairs, climbing awkwardly, sacrificing grace for the safety of the load I bear. On the seventh step, I feel something crush under my foot, a toy of my son's. The plastic shatters, but the damage is done. With a lost footing, my fingers slip, and the glass-encased weight drops. A thousand generations of yeast die among the sparkling shards. I can tell by the smell I would have loved it.